Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Your boy's back, man. I, I spent a couple of days um, getting reacquainted with these Judas Priest albums, man. And I've been listening to them. And I think I'm ready to rank these bad boys, man. I think I'm ready to rank these bad boys. I didn't want to uh, think too hard about it. And uh, I really get deep off into it and confuse myself even deeper. I just wanted to keep it on the surface, keep it off of my first reactions, and just uh, listen to it again, get an overall feeling, and uh, rank these bad boys, man. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, uh, I, I like 10 albums, so uh, let's rank these 10 albums, man. Come on. All right, so kicking things off is going to be Sin After Sin uh, in the number 10 spot. Uh, this was a uh, this was a, a solid album, man. Uh, but Spotify just couldn't get the uh, the, the quality of the sound uh, of the 70s uh, to sound good. So uh, the production kind of struggled there. It sounded really low, sounded really muffled, and it wasn't quite as clean as a production uh, experience. Uh, so that's why that comes in at number 10. But yet... I was still able to tell that it's a solid album and it and it sounded good, man. Uh, it's just the quality of the production just wasn't quite there, but it was a good, solid album, man. Let's keep the saying going. So coming in at number nine and eight are their new albums. Uh, it, it, that's just not them, man. Uh, it's I love it. It sounds great, but it's just it's just something about the nostalgia of the throwbacky sounds that I, I've I've grown accustomed to liking uh, from uh, Judas Priest. I mean, don't get me wrong, the production is crisp and clean and loud and expensive uh, with their new albums, Angels of Retribution and Firepower. Uh, but yet and still. Uh, it, it's just a nostalgia thing, man. It's just, a, I, I, I like that. I like the old, the older sound. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I'm liking that older 80s sound from them, man. Uh, so I, I prefer that sound. Not to say that the new albums don't sound good because they're kicking ass, but I just prefer uh, the, the older sounds from them. Uh, so that's why I had to put the new albums so low on the list, man. Let's keep it going. Keep this thing going. Coming in at number seven is none other than Nostradamus. Oh man, this album had a fan freaking toxic grand first uh, reaction, first experience with that thing, man. It was just such a great experience, man. But man, that album is just having a tough time making it onto a playlist. Uh, you're not gonna be playing them songs on the playlist shuffle. I tell you that much, man. So the the replay value for that thing is where it hurts, man. Uh, I you listen to it for a specific reason. You want to hear that sound. You're in that particular mood, and you just have to really pick to want to like that album and be in the mood for it. And that's why I came in at the number seven spot. It's a grand theatrical album. And I absolutely love that thing. But man, I'm not going to be coming back to it too often. You know, after you get that first couple of experiences out the way, it's not one of those things that's playlist friendly. It's not one of those things that I'm always going to be in the mood for. Uh, so that's why I came in at the number seven spot, man. Great album. It's just uh, the replay value on that thing is, is spotty. That's about it, man. All right. So coming in at number six, we got none other than Painkiller. Man, I know this album right here is some of you guys' favorite, but I'm not the biggest fan of thrash metal. And uh, a lot of that album just sounded uh, very samey. It had a very epic song on it. Painkiller is a freaking epic song. Don't get me wrong, man. But the rest of the album... Uh, so, so the the first song, Painkiller, is fantastic. Second song, fantastic. Third song, fantastic. Fourth, those first four songs, man, you rocking and rolling, and then eventually it, the album just seems to kind of blend off into the backgrounds, man. Once you hear that same sound repeating itself over and over, that thrashy metal sound, it just kind of uh, after a while, I, I kind of forgot that the album was playing. Uh, after those first uh, three to four songs and uh, it's it's a great sounding album uh, I can listen to it you know maybe four songs and then come back to it later and listen to the next four songs and get that energy burst come back again listen to the, the last you know four songs get that energy burst but uh, overall it's a great sounding album great production it, it, it really knocked your boy off his off his feet when I heard it but um, 
it just kind of blends off and fades off into the backgrounds, man, after the first, you know, three to four songs get to going. And uh, that's why I came in at number six, man, but it's a fantastic album. But that, that tells you just how great this band is, man. Let's keep it going. All right, top five, top five, man. Ooh, ooh, top five, man. Coming in at number five. Uh, this is where it got tough, man. This is where it got tough because these guys went on a run. And it just, oh, it was just some of the greatest memories I'll ever have with this band. And they, these guys went on a run in the 80s. And it started off with in 78 with uh, none other than Stained Class. <sighs> these guys uh, hit their mark with Stained Class, man. And, and these guys just really started hitting his pocket man this pockety groove this 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 really nice r&b flavored metal man that just had your boy rocket in partying it came in at number five because the production wasn't quite there yet it still was a bit muffled it's, it still was not quite as crisp and loud with the production but the album is freaking fantastic man all five of these albums could be number one to tell you the truth but i'm just nitpicking to try to find uh something that puts it at that spot man so uh yeah stain class coming at number five man let's keep it going all right coming in at number four we got rim it down oh i had a good time with that album oh man i think i might i think that was the album i skipped the first song and, and skipped the little last bonus song and everything in the middle was just non-stop consistent jamming man i had a freaking fantastic time with ramming down man i was just in that pocket i was grooving i was having a good time fun in the sun son i was smiling i was feeling great man this was a, a a really fun album man and it just kept up the momentum with the previous albums and like i said these guys was on a run all five of these albums could be number one for me man and uh, i just had to put it in the, that spot uh it's in this spot because that's that album was kind of echoey uh still and i wasn't i like the echo but it, it it just felt a little um a little computer generated kind of you know i guess it was kind of big kind of experimental uh for these guys but it, it just it just felt a little weird with the whole echoing thing but it, it still was a fantastic album if it was a fantastic i love that thing man and yeah man that's uh my number four spot ram it down let's keep it going oh uh, man so here we go top three baby top three uh these three albums honestly a number one for me man these three albums are the same to me when i think about judas priest i'm gonna think about these three albums uh and they came out uh in the 80s uh, they came out with british steel then they backdoor with point of authority then they backdoor with screaming for vengeance oh my god these boys was on the road baby these boys was on a run man i'm telling you man these three albums are the three albums i'm gonna think about when i think about judas priest man those three albums in a row could have been the same album to tell you the truth i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna pluck out these three albums and put them in the playlist and just say judas priest and it's gonna be those three albums and these albums are so consistent they are so good they are so fantastic they are so fun and funky and groovy and got that rhythm and bluesy flavored metal man that i can play at a pool at a party where company comes over when i'm out and about and i'm having a good time and i'm just driving and it's a nice beautiful sunny day this is the judas priest i'm gonna be thinking of man uh, i know they got some other albums they got some dark albums with the nostradamus they got some some uh thrash melody albums with the painkiller but those sound like other their albums you know the, the nostradamus can you know, sound like dream theater the 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 uh the painkiller sounds like you know metallica stuff but these three albums uh the british steel point of authority and screaming uh screaming for uh vengeance sounds like judas priest i mean that's the sound that i'm gonna think of when i think of judas priest not those other two uh or the other ones but but man those three albums number one to me man those three albums know me if i had to pick one oh, 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 don't do it to me man if i had to do it it would be point of authority that's the one where he was uh he was flexing on that bad boy when i say flexing he was like he was feeling himself man he was feeling like he was had this swag and this stank on him about it. he was hey, get, 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 
Oh, and he was doing all this James Brown type of stuff, man, on that thing. He was feeling himself on that on that point of authority, man. Go go back and re-listen to it. He that boy was really feeling himself on that album, man. And he was just flexing on that thing and feeling confident and good in his voice. And he was just letting it loose. And he was just he was just being very creative. The lead singer was doing his thing on that thing. So I would give, if I had to pick one out of three, it would be Point of Authority, man. Simply because of the person, he was the personality king on that. So yeah, man. Ah, that's my list. And uh, I, I hate that it's over, man. I had a, oh, what a run, man. What a run, man. What a freaking run. You you guys put you you guys put your list in the comments, man. I want to see how you guys uh, rank due to sprees. But for me, the rhythm and blues style of Judas Priest makes number one for me, man. For me personally, because I know how I'm gonna listen to this. I know where I'm gonna play it, who I'm gonna let listen to it, the the atmosphere and the environment I'm gonna be in. And for me, those are the three albums that's gonna best fit my crowd my environment the things i do the people i'm around and that thing is gonna get played those three albums are gonna get played trust me when i say that man so, so yeah man that's my list that's my ranking man and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this marathon man i hate that it's over and it's been real man it's been real all right out